Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be a quick and easy one. I'm going to show you how to make those lanyards for your keys or your phone. And it's also going to be my very first Rainbow Loom tutorial. So let's get started. First you will need some cute ribbon, the cuter the better I think and I got these for very cheap in my local craft store. You will need some rings or key rings to attach it to the lanyard and if you don't want to use rings you can always use clasps. For the band lanyard you will need some bands for rainbow looms on the color of your choice, some closures and of course a rainbow loom. So first off you're going to take your ribbon and you're going to put it around your neck to see how much ribbon you need and then just cut it accordingly. So that's the first method, there is barely no sewing on this one. You're going to take your clasp and your length of ribbon that has been sized up for yourself and you're going to feed the ribbon through the ring on the clasp. You're going to get the two ends to meet each other and tie a notch. Make sure it's quite tight. Then you can cut off the excess with a pair of scissors and to stop your ribbon from fraying you can burn off the edges with a lighter. So next we need to secure the clasp in place. So all you need is a needle and some thread and we are going to do a back stitch. I'm going to hide my notch by putting my first stitch in between the two layers of ribbon so that way it won't show and then do just a back stitch running all along the edge of my clasp. To make my stitching extra secure I will also make sure that I'm going to run some stitches either side on either side of my ribbon so that way it won't come undone at all. And that's how it should look like and now it's all ready to be used. For the next lanyard you're going to take a length of ribbon again and you're going to fit it through the ring on a clasp as well. Just like so. Then you're going to put the two ends on top of each other, just like so. Make sure not to twist your ribbon and you're going to sew a box with an X in it just to make it extra secure. It should look like something like this. Next you can secure the clasp in place with a line of stitching just above it and I decided to put another one a few inches above it as well. And I'm going to stitch back and forth a few times to make it extra secure and that's how it looks like. For the rainbow loom one you're going to take a band and do a figure 8 with it. So that's going to be your base and you're going to put it onto two pegs. Doesn't matter which one they are as long as they are beside each other. And then you're going to put another two bands on it. I decided to go for purple and white and you need at any time to have three bands on your pegs. And now we can start. So now you need to take your hook and take the bands from the bottom and pass it over the pegs. And then you can add another band. For me it's going to be a white one. Once I have done that, I'm going to pass the bottom band from the bottom to the top over the pegs and keep on going by adding bands and then bringing the bottom band from the bottom to the top. I don't really know much about Rainbow Loom. This is my first tutorial about it and there are a lot of wonderful people on YouTube that does very, very good Rainbow Loom tutorials. So for uh, the fishtail, I'm going to put a link down below for you to check out and let's get going. Once you're happy with the length of your lanyard you can take it off from the loom just carefully so not everything is going everywhere and then you can remove the last two bands from the rest. Then you can attach the SRC clips. I'm going to add two S-clips to mine just to make it extra secure since I'm going to be carrying keys and stuff like that so um, yeah making it a bit extra secure I think would not do me any harm. Then you need to add up your ring or your clasp whatever closure you want to add and then you can close up your lanyard. Then I'm going to secure in place my clasp with a few bands. So I'm just going to find the middle 
part of my lanyard and then I'm going to take some rubber bands and I'm going to uh, do a few knots around just to secure it in place to keep it in place and I'm going to go around a few times like I would do with a ponytail and I'm going to put a few bands in so it's going to be extra secure and that's how it looks like. Uh, I, if I had to do it again, I would actually make it slightly smaller because it's quite springy and with the weight of my keys, it makes it a lot longer than it is originally. So I would just make it a bit smaller. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you found it helpful. If you did, why not giving this video a thumbs up and if you don't want to miss any future video, you can subscribe to my channel. I'm going to put a little annotation there and I'm going to leave all the links to my social media in the description box below for you to check out. Uh, feel free to leave me a comment or questions uh, in the comment section below or in my social media. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye.